Hello everyone and welcome to our 8th episode of podcast series Seller Speak. Seller Speak is a platform where we invite Amazon experts from different domains to share their business secrets to help sellers succeed in their Amazon journey. Today we have Liran Hirschkorn with us. Liran commenced selling on Amazon after selling his online life insurance firm in 2014. Since then, he has sold millions on Amazon, and he's a sought-after speaker and an expert in Amazon marketing. He's the founder and CEO of Incrementum Digital, which has helped improve hundreds of Amazon listings. Liran is also an advisor for companies which provide growth capital to e-commerce sellers. So today we'll be discussing about latest updates in the Amazon space and export predictions for 2023. So let me bring him on the screen. Hi, Liran. How are you? Welcome to Sell Speak. Great. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. It feels amazing to have you on our podcast. And how are the holidays treating you? Uh, excellent. Been getting uh, a little bit of uh, downtime, so uh, family time, which has been uh, really nice. Yeah, great. That's good to know. And Liran, you had a life insurance firm, and then you sold it and took this brave decision of launching your Amazon business. What motivated you to do so? Um, so this was back in 2014, and um, you know, I started selling on Amazon on the side while I was still running my uh, my insurance business, and uh, I just saw the potential and the opportunity to uh, get into e-commerce and to you know make money while you sleep. Uh, which you know I didn't have the opportunity to do in my uh, in my current business, and uh, I'm I'm glad that I trusted the gut instinct. Wow, I think that's something to look up to. <laughs> well, Liran, 2022 brought on economic headwinds and uncertainty of consumer demand, but it also gave the brands the opportunity to hone in on their strategies. take a deeper look into budgets and encourage creativity and innovation in the space well the amazon landscape is ever evolving and while we can't be exactly sure what to expect this year let's hear from you what are your predictions for 2023 uh it's a great uh, it's a great point and uh i think in 2021 you know uh if i go back a couple of years sellers i think got a a masterclass in um logistics and i think in 2022 sellers really had to have a, a master class in operations and finance and you know making sure they're optimizing their business um <clears throat> i think 2023 uh will be um you know continue change on amazon as we've seen before i think amazon will be sharing more uh data i think video is going to get more important focusing on your listings ab testing is going to get more important as well um and i think brands that really focus on uh testing on video and optimizing their business further on launching new products um will continue to do well and have an opportunity to gain market share so as a seller i wouldn't be as concerned about the uh overall economy just because there's so much opportunity to gain additional market share if you can improve your um your business as compared to your competitors um so i think video is going to be more important i also think um buy with prime uh if you have not looked into it is a great way to grow your d2c your your business off amazon using amazon um checkout uh, as well as traffic and you'll have more opportunities to drive traffic to your uh website using um solutions from buy with prime so i think that's going to get interesting uh as well I think those were some great predictions Liran. Amazon in 2023 will undoubtedly be full of exciting changes and innovations for both sellers and customers. To all the sellers watching this video, it's important to keep your finger on the pulse when it comes to changes in the e-commerce landscape. Try to consume as much information as possible about the Amazon space. That's how you'll get an edge on your competition, right? Well, Amazon is bringing a TikTok and Instagram like shopping experience to its app. The marketplace recently launched the launch of Inspire, a new short form video and photo feed that allows consumers to explore products and ideas and shop from content created by influencers and brands. 
well in inspire what are the important insights sellers should look for according to you and how is this going to make a big difference um so um with inspire right now influencers can post tiktok style uh videos images um and promote products uh but brands can't do it at the moment but my prediction is amazon will eventually give brands this ability to post um tiktok style reels uh on amazon uh, i think it's going to be on amazon posts and uh brands will be able to to post content there um so two things brands can do to kind of prepare one is start connecting with influencers and getting user generated content available so that you can post uh you you'll be able to post this on amazon and also connecting with amazon influencers who can also post on inspire uh for you um and we'll see if inspire takes off or not uh in the past amazon has um you know tried social media type uh uh things before they launched a program called spark uh a few years back that didn't take off so it'll be interesting to see whether or not you know inspire is able to uh stick uh or not absolutely ruren i think inspire is an evolution of what they are doing with amazon post in just a few taps customers can discover new products or get inspiration on what to buy all tailored to their interests and you know then shop of those items on amazon how cool is that so right. digital signage ads are instigated in amazon dsp making it easier for brands to advertise within amazon fresh stores so with digital signage ads in amazon dsp brands can also purchase programmatically giving them more flexibility and control over you know the ads featured now how do you think this is going to benefit our sellers and what is your anticipation on it sure um so i think dsp so one thing that is been rolled out and i think is going to become more important is the amazon marketing cloud the amazon marketing cloud will uh is essentially allowing you to track the full customer journey and one of the issues we have with uh DSP and Amazon ads today is that we don't have multi-touch attribution. That means if a customer clicks on a sponsored brand ad and then they click on a sponsored product ad and they buy, we don't have the attribution on the sponsored brand ad because it's always a last click attribution. And you have this issue with DSP and Amazon ads as well. And I think as uh sellers get more access to the Amazon marketing cloud and can understand the full journey, uh they'll better understand how DSP is affecting their business and if their particular brand is right for DSP and and what type of targeting among the funnel um i would say that there are uh some type of products that are uh low hanging fruit for DSP for example consumable products you can target people who have purchased in the past and have not repurchased your product um but overall i would say first master amazon search advertising amazon ppc side uh before uh you do dsp and that generally speaking you should be you know you should have probably 3 to 5 million in sales before you really consider putting funds towards dsp yeah right here and if you ask me the use case is pretty narrow for now the main limitations are twofold it is only available for amazon fresh stores and not whole food stores if we compare both there are like you know 39 fresh stores and over 500 whole food stores in us moreover it is available through managed service only which usually commands a minimum ad spend so right. as for large cpgs this could be a great opportunity right now and something to jump on as a test and learn exercise maybe right yes So running campaigns 24 hours a day can be expensive and may not be very effective but fortunately there is an alternative that is departing departing assists in optimizing the ad budget and maximizing visibility what is your expert strategy in splitting the budgets during departing can you quote an example where you have strategized departing for your clients for better understanding of our viewers sure um so the first thing is Um I would want to understand if there's any budget constraints. If you're running out of budget during the day, um day parting could be a good uh and you cannot increase that budget. Day parting could be good because perhaps you want to be visible uh later in the hours of the day 
uh, when you're seeing that you have more orders in your uh, business. So that's a good use case to maybe not run ads overnight or not run ads, you know, maybe in the middle of the day, you take a pause and then you um, are again visible in the evening. Or perhaps maybe uh, you get a lot more orders on the weekend based on your shoppers. And so you can take uh, a pause on some other times. One thing that uh, is now allowing us to make more data-driven decisions around day parting is something called the Amazon Marketing Stream, which is an API that allows you to have hourly data from Amazon around uh, cost per click, conversion rate, sales, ACoS for every single hour that your campaigns are running. And so what we are generally seeing is that the uh, highest cost per click and the sort of worst time to run ads is the overnight hours. So if I were to give you one use case, even if you didn't have access to Amazon Marketing Stream, is perhaps to pause ads um, overnight because everybody's budgets are resetting um, at uh, uh, 12 uh, a.m. Pacific time. And so everybody's back in the auction and the cost per click is higher. So we've seen we've seen that as a good strategy. Um, and then also with certain brands, we've seen that once it gets into, you know, 10, 11 um, uh, PM on the West Coast, the um, conversion rates start to drop and they don't have as good results. And we've, we've done um, either day parting or we'll lower bids for that particular time period, which, um, you know, is something you could do as well. So um, there are use cases for, for day parting. And I would say if you have access to the Amazon marketing stream, it will give you more data driven insights in order to make those uh, decisions. And generally speaking, overnight, um, you're not going to have as good results because of uh, cost per click. That's amazing, Liran. And I can totally relate with this because, you know, I've been interacting with many Amazon sellers myself and I always recommend them seller apps day parting feature where you can actually manage a limited daily budget effectively and eliminate that window shopping traffic. Right. Also, uh, Amazon Stores Insights dashboard uh, provides sellers with daily and aggregate views of their store's performance. Metrics by traffic source and by page are available, including daily visitors, views, sales, units sold, views or visitors. Now, which, according to you, is the most crucial metric and why? Also, is PPC ad rotation available on Amazon ads? If not, then what are your PPC management tactics to uh, increase the CTR of Amazon ads? Sure. Um, so a couple of things. So with stores, um, I think the best use case of looking at all of this data, which is understanding the traffic, the conversions that you're getting on a page is really important. And the reason why is because perhaps you have a page that it, or a page that's getting uh, really good sales and really good conversions. Um, I would look at this and see if you can perhaps move and make those products more prominent. You can also see if you have a page like your homepage, perhaps your homepage is not converting as well, then maybe you want to change your products that you're showing on your homepage. So I think looking at both the traffic, traffic and the conversion of the different store pages will allow you to say, well, maybe I want to move some things around, especially if you have, uh, you know, a bigger catalog of products you may want to feature different products on your homepage. Maybe you want to send traffic to some particular pages that are converting better. And so really I would focus on looking at, you know, both your traffic and your conversion and seeing how can I make, you know, uh, optimizations to my store, creative optimizations to my store in order to make um, improvements. Um, regarding improving CTR uh, with PPC, CTR is mainly a function of placement generally speaking. So I don't just look at CTR because perhaps I'm bidding, bidding on a keyword. And if I'm bidding, you know, not enough on that keyword, maybe I'm not even showing up in the search results. Maybe I'm showing up on a product page or maybe I'm showing up on page two. Naturally, I'm going to have a low CTR. So I need to understand that CTR is a function of placement um, and, um, you know, also a function of relevancy. So one way to improve your CTR perhaps test bidding higher, making sure you're getting good placements and then see what your CTR is. If it's not uh, great, then I would say you want to uh, check the keywords that you're targeting and check for relevancy and who your competition is and make sure you're targeting, you know, more relevant keywords or, you know, 
maybe not target that particular keyword that's getting a low CTR. But in my opinion, I, I more, more look at the traffic and the conversion and the ACoS and tacos than, you know, CTR on its own. Fantastic, Liran. A groundbreaking fact about Amazon Stores Insights is sellers can get a clear picture of how many customers convert organically from the store. And I feel the new updates just get better. And also CTR is an important metric which gives you an idea whether your investment in ads is making a direct impact on your profits or not. Well, the PPC management tactics discussed by Liran is surely going to help you all. And with this, we have almost reached the end of the session. Thank you so much, Liran, for sharing your expert tips with us. I'm sure all the sellers watching this video know what to expect from the latest Amazon updates and trends of 2023. Thank you so much for having me on. And a big thank you to our audience for being a part of this. Your support means a lot to us. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Do click the bell icon so that you will never miss on another video. We are coming up with exciting podcasts every Friday, so don't forget to tune in. And until the next time, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs>